Unlocking the Fields, The Secret of Rotating Pastures. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of English language learning. Today, we're exploring an intriguing phrase that's not just about language, but also about sustainable practices. Have you ever heard the term, rotate the pastures? Well, you're in for a treat. This concept is not only vital for farmers but also offers rich insights into how language can reflect real-world practices. So, let's unravel the meaning and significance of rotating the pastures together. At first glance, rotate the pastures might sound like something related to turning the ground over or maybe even spinning a field around. But in reality, it refers to a farming practice. To rotate the pastures means to change the grazing area of livestock, such as cows or sheep, so they don't overgraze one area. This method ensures that animals always have fresh grass to eat, and it gives the land time to recover and regenerate. Why do farmers go through the trouble of moving their livestock from one pasture to another? The benefits are immense. Prevent soil erosion. By allowing grass in previously grazed areas to grow back, the soil is held together and protected from being washed or blown away. Improve soil fertility. Grazing animals help fertilize the soil with their manure, promoting healthy grass growth in the next rotation. Enhances biodiversity. Different plants and wildlife can flourish when the land is not overused. Increases productivity. Healthier pastures mean more food for livestock, leading to better growth and higher yields of milk or meat. Interestingly, the concept of rotating the pastures can also be applied metaphorically in everyday language. It suggests the idea of regularly changing activities or focus to prevent exhaustion and to promote growth and rejuvenation. For example, a teacher might rotate the subjects they teach to keep their lessons fresh and engaging. Or a writer might switch between genres to avoid burnout and stimulate creativity. So, there you have it, the essence and wisdom behind rotating the pastures. It's a beautiful example of how language can encapsulate centuries-old wisdom and practices, offering lessons that extend far beyond the fields. We hope you found this exploration as enriching as we did. Remember, learning a language is not just about words, it's about connecting with the world around us in profound ways. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insights into the wonderful world of English. See you in the next video.